Hey guys, this is uh, another video I'm going to start up here. Uh, I'm having a break away from the uh, home repair plumbing job I've been doing. I've uh, got an emergency uh, no cooling call. They've got, uh, they got two kids, 10 and 15. Uh, it's 100 degrees here today. Heat index putting it up around 106, 107. High humidity, very hot. It'll be even worse tomorrow. So I'm gonna leave the job I was on and uh, head over and see if I can't uh, check on this. He said he's uh, outside condensing. Fan motor's not coming on. So I'll uh, film more when I get out there and uh, talk to you then. Hey everybody, this sun's pretty bright. I don't know. I got a picture it's gonna get, video will get, but I'm out here at the unit. It's a, uh, you see that or not, it's a U bank, a uh, four ton condensing unit. All right, y'all, let me get this thing opened up and uh, check this thing out, and then I'll uh, shoot some more in there. All right, y'all. All right, I got the panel off. And we'll go look at the controls. I've had a dual run cap for this thing since last year, but never got back out here and put it on. This one's held in there for a while. And uh, I don't know if that's a problem or not, but I'll let y'all hear it. Hear what it's doing. You can see pressure's coming on, fan ain't moving. All right, let me, uh, let me check this thing out and then I'll uh, shoot some more. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and change out this capacitor. The, uh, the other one was uh, it's 14 years old, a little rusty, and it was borderline anyway. And uh, So I'm going to go ahead and change this out because if the, if the fan motor turns out to be bad itself, you'd have to put a new capacitor on there anyway. Anytime you change out a fan motor, you always want to replace the capacitor. And uh, So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this one on there before I test any further on the fan. And on this one, here you got three spades on each one so you're not going to be able to do the, the four for common and three for uh, compressor and two for fan they're all the same on here so you're going to have to look for your little C fan and Herm or trace your wires back or get a color coded one like uh, one from Amrad but this is the only one I had to fit at the time, and I've still got it, so I'm going to check it though before I put it on there. See if I can get this on there. That's a common to fan. I don't know if you can see that or not. 7.3 and uh, it's supposed to be 7.5 plus or minus 5 percent so that's good and then on uh, common to herm 40 and this is 40 plus or minus 5 percent so that's good so the capacitor is good so i'm gonna get this thing on here and uh, then we'll do some more testing here's another tip i care i care two different sizes they're just little paint brushes two different sizes with me when you get out here on these on these units and you cover it up with spider wells and stuff Ain't nothing better. It's soft, won't damage nothing. Nothing better than to go around and brush off some of these spider webs and dust and clean everything up a little bit. 
and the power is off. You can see a disconnect right here. It's just a couple of feet away, right there. On the back side of that pole. And so y'all know, power is off. Here's one more thing, that, you know, people just getting into this, whatever. As you can see, this is this is a smaller, smaller, faster. So, yeah, I use the same strap, but only because I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it or not. You see the other hole? That's where the screw was, and it had a hole already in it, or I could have made one. But if you can't get the strap that uh, is there to go tight against the new capacitor then you know keep you some uh, uh, pipe strap in your tool pouch and make a new one you don't want to have this thing loose you want it good and tight so it ain't gonna vibrate over and lean over and touch against the contactor and short out all right be back shortly hey everybody I'm back out here at the unit it, uh, Fan motor was bad, capacitor was bad, contact was bad. Top off, had to carry the top knob with me back to the house. So I could uh, break it loose. It got loose, it got late and that thing was rusted on. Been on there for 14 years. So I just carried it on back. Storm was coming, I just carried it on back with me. But I uh, brought it back out here today. I gotta get that back on there. And there's new contactor and then new contactor, new capacitor in there. and. Uh, Get this thing back up and running. I'll film some more once I get everything in. Alright, hey y'all. Thought I'd show this right here. I'm working on another job doing some uh, remodeling work. I do that also. And a lot of my tools are over on that other job. So sometimes you have to just kind of adapt and overcome. The shaft here was just, I cut it off. It was just a little bit too long still. And it's a little difficult sawing through it with a handsaw. And the, shaft keeps turning so got my little quick grip put it on there let it run down and run rest against the block put my foot up there to hold it in place my other hand on there Go right back and forth right on through that thing shaft never moves once I get that down should have it all done Got everything, got the reversible wires zip tied to the little tubing. Had zip tied that to the top, we had to cut it open over here to get the motor to fit in there right. And, uh, I get the shaft off here and uh, get that on there and, and uh, I'll video a little bit more. Hey everybody, Just a little more on this video. Here's a new fan motor. Ready to go on, blades on. There's the reversing wires. Strapped to the other side of the tube, the fan motor wires are in. Everything strapped down nice and neat. The Wagner motor. Division of the Versatech. I'm in there ready to go. So let me get this thing, let me get the top on, get this thing buttoned back down. And then I'll finish this video up. Alright guys, here's a quick tip right here. Now this fan, this fan uh, motor was a three wire. When you And the one I put on is a four wire. Anytime you're going from a three wire to a four wire, and you're going to keep the dual run capacitor. You know, you put a, I put a new one on there, but you know, if you're gonna change it from a three wire to four wire and still use the dual run capacitor, you will take using your black wire right here. You go to T1 on your contactor. Your yellow or white, purple, whichever one your second is, is gonna come down and go to your common on your fan on your capacitor. Then your solid brown is going to come down to go to fan on the capacitor, and the brown and white will be capped off and unused. 
And that's if you're going from a three wire to a four wire fan motor and use a dual run capacitor. If you're going from a three wire to a four wire and want to keep the dual run capacitor for your, uh, uh, if there's nothing wrong with for your uh, compressor and go with just a single run cap new for your fan motor, then the black will still go to T1 on the contactor. The uh, yellow would go to T2 on the contactor. And then the br solid brown would go to one side of your small single run cap, and the brown and white would go to the other side, and you would mount it somewhere up in here. And then uh, your dual run cap would just run your compressor. And you can see everything's running. Cooling down. Uh, this thing is, uh, I think it was 2.4 amps. I'm not sure. I believe it was 2.4 or 2.6 is what the motor was rated. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's running at 1.6. Everything's good. Let me back, let me uh, button this thing up and uh, get out of here. Pretty hot today, close to 100, and uh, we got other cows waiting. I'll talk to you some more later. Hope you enjoyed it. Got a new dual run cap, new contactor, new fan motor. This is an old four ton U bank condensing unit. Alright guys, talk to y'all later. Bye. Alright guys, here's the one I put on uh, the brand new one I put on Friday. It's rated 7.5, it's reading 7.3. Here it is today. I don't know how well you can see that. Triple zeros. Not reading anything on the fan side. Here's the uh, here's a new one. The sun is something else. There's a new one, rated 7.5, reading 7.5 on the fan side. Rated at 40, reading 40.2, 40.3 on the hermetic side. So the new one's good to go. Alright guys, she's up and running. This motor, uh, I said earlier, 2.4, 2.6, is rated 2.8. And uh, she's running right now at 1.6. Press is running it. 20.8 Both are in the within the range Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Talk to you guys later. Bye.